Welcome back to Love Your Lettering. We're getting to the part you've all been waiting for, brush pen basics. For all beginners to brush lettering, I recommend investing in the Tombow Fudenosuke pens. The dark barrel is the soft tip and the blue barrel is the hard tip. Many prefer the hard tip as beginners, but I like the soft tip. It's a little more forgiving for me being left-handed. Just as when we practice these techniques with pencil, with the brush pen, we're gonna concentrate on getting very light pressure on upstrokes and heavier pressure on downstrokes. You can taper as you're moving to the transition points. The first letter form I'm using is the overturned loop, concentrating on a very light upstroke and then adding pressure and getting heavy on the downstroke and then releasing it again once I get to a transition point. You'll notice that not every transition is smooth and some of my fine lines are a little squiggly. This is to be expected, especially as you're just starting with brush lettering. It takes a little bit of time and a lot of practice to get used to the feel of the flexible tip under the pressure. Next up is an underturned loop. Going very light on the upstroke, then applying a little more pressure and more heavy pressure as I come down, tapering again once I get to that baseline transition. Practicing the diagonal strokes give a very clear transition point where you can go from the fine upstroke to the heavier broad downstroke. The next stroke I practice is an entry ligature or upturn and then the heavier downstroke. These look a little like I's or uncrossed T's, don't they? The more we practice these exercises, the more consistent our writing and strokes will become. Next up is our overturn bumps. Light pressure on the way up, heavier pressure to hit that baseline. One of the problems that I've noticed as a left-handed writer is that I'm really hard on brush tip nibs. When I start to notice that it's veering one side or the other, I go ahead and roll the nib just to center it a little bit before writing again. Now we can combine the strokes to form my favorite practice word, minimum.
If you're getting bogged down just by practicing shapes and letter forms, go ahead and try your hand at an alphabet. Here I'm just doing a plain print alphabet, but applying the same varying pressure techniques that I use for all my brush lettering. That means each downstroke will be heavier handed and each upstroke will be very light touch. One rule of thumb I like to follow is that when my lines intersect, I usually try to have a fine line intersect with a heavier line, not two heavy lines together. So my K, even though it's a downstroke on the, out, the legs, I'm still doing that as a fine line for the contrast. It's a little easier on the eyes. I treat the X similarly to the K as well and make sure that these intersecting lines are actually contrasting sizes. Don't forget to practice numbers using the same pressure varying technique. Heavy downstrokes, light upstrokes. I haven't forgotten about my right-handed friends. Where you hold your pen varies a little bit from us lefties, but you will still apply the same principles, a light upstroke and a heavier downstroke. Keep in mind that my pen's been broken into a lefty, so my strokes are gonna be a little bit shredded. Keep in mind that the Fudenosuke pen is considered a disposable pen and it's not going to last forever. The more you use it, the nib will fray. I tend to like the texture that it gives and I use these pens all the way up until they stop working. <laughs> Keep on practicing until that variation of pressure starts to feel a little more natural. In the next video, we'll talk about different styles of alphabets. To learn more about the Love Your Lettering series and find an index of all posts, visit creatively.com slash loveyourlettering.